So I just run water over this to clean all the thousand grit crap off. And if you were to put clear on your truck, it looks real similar to that. So you can really tell, um, and you can see, we run if I can run that across the rock light just right, that dent that I was talking about is going to be a dent. So if you were in your final stages and you knew you know you did this, you know you want to fix that because you don't want that. Uh, like I said, I don't care <clears throat> on this one, so um, I'm not going to mess with it. But this is a good way to check your work. You know, once you, you, you know, you're at this point, uh, you can go back over this and you can spray uh, a wax and grease remover. Um, I'm sure there's several things you can spray on it, but that water um, is doing the trick on that. So, like I said, see all that? I just was wiping all this off and letting that run across there like that. And you can definitely see that little goofy, goofy area. So. Uh, right there. Boop. So that should be the only, the rest of it looks like glass. So that should be my only issue. Um, as far as uh, any dents or anything that I missed. So I know it going into it, no biggie. The rest of that's all knocked down to uh, 1,000 grit. I take a squeegee. If you have one of the bigger ones, it's better. Like one of those little hand squeegees, like a California squeegee or whatever they're called. Those work real well. These you get from like a, a, a paint supply store or whatever kind of run this down and get all the water off to see where your shiny spots are. If you've got any left, which I shouldn't have at this point because I've been over this at least three times, maybe four. So just take your excess water off and then you can go back over and wipe it with the towel. All right, guys, I gotta let this sealer induce for 30 minutes. Uh, what it is, it's SPI epoxy, it's reduced 25%. And uh, it says spray one wet coat on, then wait two hours, and then spray your base coat. So um, it's 20 after four right now. And so about 10 till, I'll come out and spray a coat of eight on, then I gotta wait for a couple hours. And it's been busy today. We changed from cable to uh, dish, or not dish, but direct TV and like everyone showed up at once and it's just been nuts and the guy kept coming in and out of here and i was like i can't paint with him opening the door you know all day long so i had to kind of wait for them to go so i prepped it up got it all bagged up and you see here you see the tape running across those i try to pull pull that tight so it doesn't flutter um, same with the back up here um, i run you can see i run paper up to where i'm painting and then Went ahead and went plastic out with that. Um, again, I'm trying to keep this plastic from fluttering as much as possible. I'm gonna spray from the bottom up. And uh, you see I got my light, the way I got my light set up. When I spray, and I won't take you long for it because once I start spraying, I'm afraid it'll mess the camera up, especially when I'm clear coating. But I like to, just for me, when I'm spraying, I'll set this light up like this. That way I can look back towards it. I don't know how well that'll show up, but yeah, basically I'll pull it. Start this side, come up. And I'll be able to come through here and look where my wet where my wet is. And then as I come down, I'll be able to watch that. Because if you don't have a light like this and you're just in a garage where you don't have a whole lot of lighting, you're just sitting here head on like this. It's a little harder, at least in my experience it has been, especially if it's in a darker area. It's harder to see where that wet line is and you're more apt to dry spray your clear. Um, so, I'm going to make sure that, uh, make sure you got good lighting as, as best as possible. I mean, if you're a pro, you can do this with your eyes closed, with your hands tied behind your back. Uh, 
hopping on one leg, I'm sure. I'm not. So I'm just throwing out the, the tips that I've learned when I was at the body shop, what worked for me. Um, I can move this light back over here, but then when I'm in front of it, I'm blocking it. So now I took all my light away. See what I'm saying? So and if I put it over where the camera is right now, it doesn't give me the same benefit. So I try to put a light right up here. You see I mask this light off where none of the shit blows off of it onto my uh, paint, hopefully. I clean this up real good. So now I can see, I can spray, and then if I need to, I can drag it over here a little bit and then continue going across and then when I come up, you know, that type of deal. That's kind of why I built that so I could roll it around with me if I needed to. Uh, what else? That's pretty much it. Um, I wasn't planning on sealing this, but I broke through a couple of little tiny spots. A little tiny spot there probably wouldn't matter. A little spot there probably wouldn't matter. And then, of course, I got those two or three spots that I need to seal up. So that's kind of why I decided to go ahead and seal that. I'll also seal that up, too. And there's some rock chips underneath there that I wasn't real concerned about. Uh, and I'll just go ahead and throw a little bit of sealer on that, too. And take care of that. So, yeah, I'm going to let the epoxy induce. And uh, that's pretty much it. Um, you can see how I did this. I tried to do as much uh, paper as I can next to where I'm painting. Um, I do have a little plastic down there that, you know, could flutter. But... Like I said, I'm going to try to spray upwards instead of spraying down at an angle down, you know what I mean? So hopefully it's not kicking stuff up. Uh, yeah. So you can see here, just bagged up, pulled tight everywhere. All right, that's it. Um, I thought I'd show, tell you that. Just, you know, maybe it'll help somebody out. Lighting is, is, is super important. Um, and dry spray really sucks especially in clear coat uh, because that basically means you just didn't put enough on and uh, I had a guy tell me he'd rather have it run than to dry spray it and you know you go to start cutting and buffing on it and you dry sprayed it you, you don't have very much mill thickness there uh, so or at least what I was taught you guys have any different uh, information you let me know because I'm just regurgitating the stuff that I was told. All right, guys, that's it. We'll see you in a little bit. All right, so here we go. We got uh, some sealer on it. Uh, looks like I could have probably went up a little farther on the sealer. I didn't. But uh, it looks like it turned out pretty good. There might be a couple little pieces of dirt in it, but uh, for the most part, it looks all right. So, um, went ahead and hit this up here. It said one wet coat, so that's what I did. Basically, just did that to seal those little metal spots that were showing through. Um, and so, yeah, next time uh, we'll be spraying some color on that bad boy. And that will be at 6 o'clock, it's 4 o'clock now. So, yeah, you can see that little den I was talking about. So. Yeah, two hours to wait, and uh, we'll come back and start spraying some color. All right, see you guys. All right, guys, there's the first coat. Tried to blend that out. Uh, I'm going to have to do a little better job of blending, I can see right now, but it uh, looks all right. And um, I was going to tell you guys, I about screwed up. And... Uh, when I sealed this, I didn't mask the other areas that I wasn't going to paint off, so it put white sealer all over the, or uh, gray sealer all over everything. I had to sand that whole thing back down with a thousand on the areas that I wasn't going to, going to hit. So, um, you know, if I was going to spray the whole thing, it wouldn't have mattered. But I would, hadn't planned. I planned on just hitting the areas where, you know, I had painted or uh, that I had fixed. So. Yeah, I about screwed that up. I got back out here and got to looking at it, and I was like, man, there's white or gray overspray, sealer overspray all over everything. So I had to, like, wet sand that whole thing back down, which got my masking paper wet, which is not, not a good deal because a lot of times the water will hide in all those little crevices, and when you spray, it'll blow water out in your paint. So kind of living on the edge here. Uh, 
my bad, my mistake, and I just need to pay better attention next time. I just wasn't thinking about it. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much uh, pretty much it, though. All right, guys, I'll bring you back. See ya. All right, guys, I got the first coat of clear on it, and uh, it turned out pretty nice. Uh, a couple little dry spots here and there, but I got another coat to put on it, so it won't be an issue. Um, you might be able to tell through there, it's a little dry, but like I said, second coat, take care of that. It's a little bit of dry there, too. Uh, just need to get my rhythm down a little bit. It's been a long time since I sprayed any clear coat, so. Got a little bit of trash in it, not real, you know, not as bad as I figured being that, you know, nasty ass shop. I mean, I will definitely have to nib it out, but anyway, that and uh, I'll probably bury a lot of that shit in the second coat, so. Um, yeah, the next coat's the one that counts, unless I was gonna stop there, which I'm not, but uh, put two good coats on it and then uh, I'll be done. So, I'm hoping that my blend worked out good. I, I can't see it here, which is good, but you know, when I unwrap the track truck, you know, we'll get to see uh, if there's any difference in the color, but uh, I don't, I don't think, I don't think it's gonna be a problem. So, all right. Well, I'll bring you back when I get her done, and uh, I need to peel this on my second coat. I got to peel that back because that'll bridge that clear a bit bridge, and then, and when you go to tear it off, it'll start, you know, messing up your clear and shit like that. So you want to pull that stuff loose. Hopefully, I don't forget that. But uh, no runs. Texture turned out really good. Uh, when I say texture, these trucks have got a bit of a texture peel, whatever you want to call it, and uh, it, it looks pretty good. But uh, yeah, I said I didn't get any runs. That may be a sag, but it may not be. It may just be the way the lights hitting it. I don't know. Anyway, that's it. I'm gonna get back on this second coat. I need to see when if <laughs> yeah it's time for me to get on it all right see you all right guys there it is uh, turned out pretty good I didn't see any runs or anything like that and uh, hopefully that'll show up So, there you go. Long time coming on that one. I needed to do that for a long time. Finally got her done. Uh, really, the trash is minimal. I mean, I'll uh, cut and buff it. You know, probably just very little. I really won't have to do that much cutting and buffing. Um, and color good I pulled all the tape back as you can see here to keep Brit from bridging like I was talking about um, and I'll let it sit overnight and uh, cure up and then tomorrow I'm at the fire station so it'll be uh, Saturday before I could actually start putting stuff back together so we'll see what happens but uh, yeah that clear gets everywhere it's still it's not bad hazy in here um, had I blocked all this off though, I bet you that little room there would have been really full of it because my flow path through here is blocked by my truck. So it's probably not sucking as good as it would had it got, you know, had a straight flow path to get, you can see the paper or the plastic moving down there. Anyway, so yeah, there you go. Uh, hopefully my blends work out good. I won't be able to really tell until I get you know, take the rest of the plastic off the truck and and uh, get it out in the light and see how it blends out. But uh, the bed itself looks real good. Hopefully the color doesn't, uh, uh, hopefully the color matches up pretty good. So, yeah, I might've got one little sag right there, maybe. Um, Unless that's a dent that, you know, but I don't know. I'll figure it out when I cut and buff it. So, all right, guys. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching.